lack the amenities of the switchboard, but it's safe, and we've taken precautions not to be surprised again. Things are chaotic right now, so there's plenty for you to do. Hey, I remember this place. Looks kind of like a Wolfenstein place, kind of. But hey, I remember this. I remember you, bitch. Excuse me. The sensor sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. Sounds like some watchdog shit. Sorry, I've been playing a lot of X Defiant. Uh, without my consent? Oh, bro. This is Charmer. He did yeah, the that's board. great. He's a full agent, effective immediately. I'm counting on each of you to show him the ropes. Feel free to welcome him aboard. That is all. Actually, it's Gamer's World. But you know what? We'll go with Charmer for now. I'm charmed you made that entrance for it. Oh, no? Okay. Just don't call me Charmander. No? All right. Excuse me. Hey, Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops and grab incoming agents and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. You'd rather take my spot going out there doing everything for everyone and shooting at anyone? I mean, if you're really unhappy, we can give it a try. I don't think he is, but let's just pick this and see what goes on. Why is that a bad job? Runners at the bottom of the totem pole in the railroad. Just a hair above tourists. Being HQ's runner is a cut above field work, I suppose. Ah, someone's gotta do it. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. Welcome to the family. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind a sidekick. Let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Bitch, you hit me with the Resident Evil Biohazard. Welcome to the family. Not right now, dude. Back here again. I forgot this was a whole place, honestly. I forgot about that mission. Uh, yeah, I gotta go find the guy and get the gun. Wherever the fuck it is. <clears throat> ah, you're back. Good news. I figured out how to access the artifact's telekinesis effect. I've hooked it up to this old laser rifle. There's no way to control it without direct neural input. For better or worse, all of that was destroyed when my father died. But you still have a rather powerful directed force. Here, say what you think. What the fuck is this? You come up telling me you have a telekinesis powered gun that doesn't even do telekinesis? What the fuck? Oh, let's see. Annoyed? I should fucking do annoyed. How does it work? How does it work? It uses standard energy cells for power. The artifact's internal power supply was destroyed. Otherwise, point and shoot. It doesn't kill people, but you may still be able to find some use for it. As for myself, I don't know. Maybe I'll finally travel to the southwest. My father was always convinced that there was another alien city buried somewhere in the Mojave Desert. I'm not sure about the lore for that, if that was in New Vegas or whatever, somebody let me know, or if that's going to be an upcoming thing, but uh, I'm trying to find the bright side to this gun, I really am, I appreciate you trying, but it just seems kind of useless, bro. Testimono told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. There's Without a have... lick of training, mm -hmm. and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join talk. HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command. But what's done is done. <sighs> Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. First off, holy shit the fucking talking, dude. Second of all, my bad bro, I didn't know she didn't tell you. I'm just trying to help out, that's all. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with the runaway synth. H222. So headquarters, as now, always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. That's just the worst. Don't you hate when that happens? Nah, I'm just kidding. Alright. Sounds like an important mission. It is. After switchboard, we're so short-handed I have little choice but to throw you into the deep end. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us. So keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. 
Oh yeah, I was on an adventure with him. We were trying to tell Desdemona about it. Uh, I won't give you the whole story. Guns, bullets, flying, you know, the Matrix. But, uh, safe to say we used it on a seemingly racist kind of guy. So, uh, I'm guessing you're not, or he's not like that. So, we're gonna get on your good side. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Tom wants you for something. I saw that bitch to the back the whole time. That's what the fucking emergency was, dude. You couldn't wait till my conversation was done. You were just staring at me like an item on sale. Look at you. Alright, let's start this mission and go get this dead drop. Gotta go discover this landmark. Fucking Preston, dude. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, bro, just like all my subscribers, comment, let me know what's up, if something's wrong, message me, anything. Is everything alright? Oh yeah, better than that. This is just... tricky. It's just... being out here with you, it's made me realize, most of my life to this point, I've been running out on the good things I got. I skipped out on my family, my life in Diamond City, took up with you just to get out a good neighbor. Hell. Running from myself is what made me into, into a damn ghoul. But being here with you for the first time in my life, things have just felt right. And running is the furthest thing from my mind. I mean, I left Good Neighbor thinking I was gonna just sharpen up the old killer instinct. But whether it's fate or destiny or just goddamn coincidence, I ended up with someone like you. I turned one of the nastiest settlements in the Commonwealth into a refuge for the lost. I thought I'd done something I could hang my hat on. But being out here with you, it's made me realize just how small time I'd been thinking. And that maybe all my running, for my life, myself, maybe it wasn't such a bad thing after all. You know, sometimes you have to run or walk away from certain situations as much as it shames you or pains you to go through it <clears throat> it just has to be done you know and uh anything you do can make a difference any little thing as long as you just make someone's day better that's even a fucking difference you ran a whole town dude holy shit you may have run but you always ran for a reason hancock been trying to convince myself of that for a long time but hearing that coming from someone like you i don't know if you understand what that means to me so let me get to the point. Throwing in with you has been the best decision I've ever made. It's like I found a part of myself I never realized was missing. Which happens sometimes when you're a ghoul. If I hadn't taken up with you, I'd probably be in a gutter somewhere, getting gnawed on by rad roaches. You have been one hell of a friend. I know the feeling. You're a damn fine man, Hancock. I'm lucky to have you at my side. And God help any of them who get in our way. Well, I know I could stand to listen about how wonderful I am for the rest of my days, but it's probably worth us hitting the road. Thanks for hearing me out, friend. Hey, we did it. Two fuck-ups on the road. We got his high perk just because of that. Let's go. You know, just like my situation right now, you never know who you're inspiring or who you're helping out, so just keep trying anything. Thanks to your relationship with Hancock at 250 rads? Holy fuck. Or higher. What? You get criticals 20% faster? Dude. All right, Hancock. Some bad news. I'm so sorry. But uh, we reached your high perk, bro. We're going to switch up to a new companion. Try to get new perks. See what other perks there are to offer with other companions. But don't you worry. We had some good times. The Black Devil and the Hancock. I don't know. But, uh. We'll come back to you. I'm pretty sure we will. So, let's get going. Alright guys, next up is Kate. Let's see what she can do. Apparently she can do lockpicks. No problem. Should have this unlocked in a jiffy. Got it. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh man. 
Let's see where and how this goes. Hey. Yeah. Go check that out. Come on. This locks child's play. Uh Bethesda? Oh yeah. I love that click. Locks open. Oh man, you're so good. But how did you manage to do that? It's like you were on the other side the whole time. It was just so swift and smooth. So good. Awesome. If I didn't know any better, I'd say the door was wide open, you know? Hey. This better be worth it. Check it out. Yep, I've got it. This one might be rough. Don't get your hopes up. What was that? Ah! Here it's stuff. Damn! Broke a pin. I'll try again. Oh, oh for the love of right. stupid lock. Damn, what the hell's wrong with me? I give up. You give up. Let's try this again. I don't even know if I want to as much. Hey. Need something? Check it out. Will do. Bit of a puzzler, this one. Let me give it a shot. Shite. Almost had it that time. Damn! This lock's pissing me off. Ah, so close. Guess I'm getting rusty. Got it. Seeing the state of this place is the single saddest moment of my life. Bethesda, Bethesda, Bethesda. Damn! Broke a pin. I'll try again. Damn, what the hell's wrong with me? Not worth it. This one's a tough one. Not worth it? I don't even know if this companionship is worth it. You're lucky I'm just trying to get your perk. Yep, go on the computer. You like doing that more than you like picking locks. Picking locks is your integrated perk. The thing you're supposed to be good at. But, uh, whatever. I just want your perk anyways. Alright guys, we're here for this prototype. It's a new weapon, so I'm always fucking excited for that shit. Unlimited ammo capacity. Let's go. All right, guys, we're going to investigate the distress signal. The spot on the map was near the glowing sea, so we got smart, got some power armor, and of course, we got the black devil armor. So let's see how this goes. Search for evidence of what happened. That bitch got murdered. What do you think happened? No, I know what it means.
What's wrong, bitch? What's wrong, Coroni? Not Corona. Not Macaroni. Well, damn, that was easy. All right, uh, we beat Corona's ass. I know, I know, I said Coroni. On to the next one. Robots and civilization. Will they mix? Hello, here we are at Grey Garden. Well, I'm just kidding. We're here at Grey Garden. Let's go meet these bitches. Was that a murder? Was that a gang attack? Was that a malicious attack? I don't understand. Was it self-defense? Let's just talk. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. That was pretty cool. You guys made your own little settlement, little colony. All right. That's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Well. At least you know they won't be slacking off on you. Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant operation, operation, operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. Oh, hence the Gray in Grey Garden. All right. Uh, yeah, what happened to him? What became of Dr. Gray? Like so many others, he died in the war. It was a terrible loss. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions. Rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. That's putting it mildly. Hey, listen, you know what the fuck they did to that animal? They kind of ganged up on him. Yeah, you saw that. I was there. It was right in front of us. Uh, don't disrespect them. Um, wow. Yeah, I mean, you know, you got personality. Might not be from something great, but you got personality. Well, it's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few or jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? Um, you know, I haven't tried it yet. I'm not going to lie to you. And uh, I'm also not going to say that it's fine and still lie to you. I'm not going to say it's awful and disrespect you. I'm just guessing you need our help. I'm with the Minutemen. Did you need help with something? Why, yes. That's what I was getting at, dear. The water. It's simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. If you Minutemen can lend us a hand, I'll be eternally grateful. Hey, what's up, Gamers World? You're a fan, I bet. Okay, uh, yeah, how do you know how the water tastes? Also, huh, your skin, you're fine. Um, alright. Water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Disliked, really, Kate? First, you try to disrespect them. Now you dislike me offering to help them. Come on, we're not we're not really gonna get along. 
Um, but I was going to say, yeah, never mind your Lady Demetresque accent and personality. Uh, you're just, uh, you're, you're a robot, first of all. I'm not my type. Second of all, I have a Codsworth that would remind me of you, so that'd just be weird. Um, but I'm glad to help you out. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, one shot, please, oh, let's go! Something's ghosting us. What the fuck? She predicted the future? Oh, I can't miss this shot. What the fuck? Hold up. You hear that? You lose! Can you not start shit if we did? Never thought I'd be saying this, but I but I really need your help. Oh shit, alright, uh yeah, gamers world, you know the gist. Uh alright, yeah, whatever you need. Anything you need, Kate. I was hoping you'd say that. We're friends now. Which means I can trust you with anything. I'm also hoping it means you've got me back. Cause I need it now more than ever. I'm... I'm sick. And I don't think I can hide it from you anymore. Well, I mean, you're not really that cool. I'm just kidding, I know what she means. Uh, <clears throat> I guess, you know, you kinda don't agree with some shit I do. But, if it's really an issue, I'm here to help. So, take a deep breath and let's get this going. Okay, calm down and take a deep breath. If you're sick, I want to help you. Okay, okay. It's like this. Ever since I left home, I've been using Psycho. I don't know why I'm still taking that crap, but I can't stop. And believe me, I've tried. I can't even go a day without it anymore, and I'm fucking sick and tired of it. I've even been doing it behind your back. Sneaking doses when I think you aren't looking. Worst of all, it's been making me sick. I've been spitting blood and I don't feel right inside. I need to get this shite out of me system before I wind up dead. Kind of feels a little hurtful, but you know what? You didn't mean it, so uh, all that matters is that you want to get help, so let's see how. Tell me how we can clean you up. Well, there might be a way, but it's not going to be easy. There's supposed to be a vault somewhere out here. A place called Vault 95. I've heard that Vault Tech used it for some kind of social experiment. Stuck a bunch of junkies inside to poke and prod. Well, they supposedly had some special method to clean up those blokes in there. Some kind of a machine or something. If we could get inside, maybe that machine could help me. It's awesome that you're willing to go to a janky ass recovery facility in a rundown vault to get the answer to your problems. It's good. It's a good thing. Um, but uh, I've already been there. So uh, if you really want to get this done, we can do this. No problem. We'll get you there. I can't believe how kind you're being to me, even when I'm letting you down. Look, I don't want you to think I'm some kind of low-life junkie. A stupid girl who's harming herself for no good reason. From one friend to another, all I'm asking is for your help. When you're ready, take me out to Vault 95 and help me put an end to me pain. You know, it's a big thing. It's a big friendship thing. You're willing to help out a friend, you're willing to go that far to help someone out. Because addiction probably is not that easy to overcome. You know, I feel like the keys are communication, putting your mind elsewhere in those times of desperation. But uh, having the right friends too. Damn, imagine if this was toilet water. Alright, time to pump up the jam. No? Okay. Place. 
stinks like the sea. I happen to know a sponge friend that would find that offensive. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, wrong door. Wrong room. I'm sorry. Fuck yeah, dude. Looks like the actual effect of what happens when you drink a Capri Sun. Whoa, nice try. Oh fuck, alright. Here we go. You know, Kate, you're starting to become less and less of good company, you know that? All right, guys, watch this cool ass jump. Ha! Oh, wow, what the fuck? We started it just like Outlast. Oh, nobody's gonna come at me with a bat, right? Oh, oh I hated that part. All right, let's get out of here. Edna from The Incredibles, is that you? Ah, uh, sorry. Yes, yes I did. There was a lot of bitches there. Yes, ma'am. Oh, such a gentleman, too. I simply must give you something. Here, you can have some of our produce. I'll ask Greeny to give you a discount, too, if there's anything else you need. Now I simply must get back to work. Ta-ta! Ready to begin your fabulous shopping spree? Yes, I am. Why are we talking like this? You sound like a game show host. That's the correct answer. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, should we tell the lucky contestant what fabulous prize he's won? Is it a new car? No. Okay, show me what I've won. Right this way, please. Let's take a look at your fabulous prize. Wow, he didn't sound as enthusiastic. Wait, what does that mean? It's a brand new car! Wow! Now, if you've already got the latest in sleek, stylish, atomic-powered automation, you can also take your winnings in the form of a cash prize! How does 100 cap sound? What the fuck? I can't do shit with this. You can't drive cars right now. No deal, Howie. What else you got? Those are my only choices. You are one tough customer, I don't mind telling you. So, what'll it be? You know, I'm more of a Wheel of Fortune guy anyways. Uh, let me take the caps. Uh, no, let's ask for more. Let's see how much more we can get out of this. I've got an idea. Let's make a deal. I like it. How about 150 caps? How about I bust a cap? I'm kidding. Uh, can I get some more? Tempting. But can you do a little better? Whoa! You're really looking to push your luck, aren't you? All right, 200 caps it is. I should warn you, asking for more could lead to disqualification. So you might want to stop right there. All right, guys, we're not going to stop right there. Let's ask for even more. Come on. A new car is worth more than that. You could sell ice cubes to Eskimos with those powers of persuasion. 300 caps is the best I can do. It's all yours. Well, it's been a real pleasure. 
Wow, guys, that was a steal. That was lucky. Oh, man, I don't know how I got away with that. But I am going to get away. I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys liked it. hope you enjoyed it. Grey Garden. This is pretty cool. Pretty awesome little area full of robots. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to go. So hope you liked it. hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.